Hold on. You mean all I gotta do is say, Quick strike! Terrorize! And ah! What in tarnation? Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The feature bot in this video is the brand new Transart BWM13 Vice Poison Battler, aka Quick Strike. I just got this figure in from Show Z Store and I cannot wait to check him out. I am a huge Quick Strike fan. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got some great looking art of Quick Strike in his robot mode. This side of the package features Tarantulas. Back of the packaging is Quick Strike in his beast mode. He, of course, is a fuser, part scorpion, part cobra. And this side of the box is Transmetal Megatron. And that's pretty much it. You got Vice Poison here on the back or the top and stuff on the bottom. So now, without further ado, let's get Quick Strike, who that's what I'm going to call him throughout the rest of this video, opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Quick Strike all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that he does come with a card that asks you to please scan the code to watch the video. You got the English instruction QR code right there. And there's a couple pictures that show areas you want to watch out for during transformation. He also comes with a collector's card on a nice, glossy, heavy card stock. You got the art from the front of the box right there. And on the back, you do have the stats. And then, of course, we've got Quick Strike himself. And man, does this figure look great. I love the metallic look with the greens. You got the orange right there. I mean, he looks awesome. I love the paint applications. That blue or that turquoise absolutely pops on this figure. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, that is spot on to how he looked in the cartoon. I just love the way that, I don't know, is that vacuum metal? The way that catches the light, it looks so good. Got the nice beady red eyes right there, little mandibles, the mouth plate. I mean, he looks awesome. I love the looks of this figure. He cleans up really good. He does have a scorpion head on his butt though, but he still looks awesome. I can't complain one bit. Let's see. I mean, sculpt to detail is fantastic all the way around. You got the little bumps and ridges right there you see on the legs. Of course, those are going to be the scorpion arms. I mean, he just looks, I'm going to say it again, he looks awesome. Let's get into articulation. The head is on a ball joint, can look up and down and do a complete 360 if you'd like. But mine is on a very tight ball joint, so I'm not going to fool with that too much. And you want to be careful. He's got a little sharp section right there on top of his head and the mandibles. That will poke you in the thumb, as you can see. The arms, well, let's go into the arms here. Uh, the left arm with the claws, it can do a complete 360. It's on a ball joint. There is an elbow bend. It's actually got a double elbow bend due to transformation. The wrist can rotate and the fingers can up and open and close. The fingers are a very, very soft plastic. I've seen where some other reviewers have complained about that, but for me, it's no big deal whatsoever. It really doesn't affect the figure at all. And considering they're soft plastic, that's gonna make less chance of them to break because they are skinny. 
They're orange. They end up in the painted toes right there. So it looks pretty good aside from the big open screw right there. If you open up the hands fully, you do see a screw. I wish that was covered up, but like I said, it, it's not too bad. Let's see the articulation for the Cobra arm, the snake arm. This is a bendy wire, which is really surprising. You actually hear it squeak as I move it along. It's on, it's attached right here and it rotates around inside this section. I mean, this part here doesn't rotate, just the bendy wire itself. You can tell it's bendy wire where, let me see if I can find it. Right in here somewhere, you can see those telltale signs, right? See the little holes right there that all those bendy toys used to have that I had as a kid. So that's as much articulation as I fooled with. I don't want to risk messing it up. I mean, they're, it's, okay, I'm kind of straighten it out. So there you go. So you can pose it, but it's just weird that they used bendy wire. I'm afraid to mess around with it too awful much because I don't want it to crack. I don't want it to break. I'm not sure if that's painted or what, but I just find that is a weird choice. It's not bad. I mean, I don't mind it too much because I'm not going to be playing with this figure. He's going to be displayed on my shelf, but still a weird choice. Getting on down here to the head of the snake, though, I think that is awesome. The cobra look is fantastic with all the molded details, the blue, the red eyes, the fangs. If you look at the top of the mouth, you've got the blaster right there. If you remember, the original Beast Wars toy had a water squirting gimmick. And of course, in the show, it's shot lasers or whatever. And there's articulation at the mouth. The jaw can open and close. Love the fangs. I mean, that looks pretty sweet. All right, more articulation. The waist can rotate like so. Legs can go forward. They can go back. Big old knee bend. There is a rotation at the knee and there is ankle tilt. So that's pretty much it for the articulation of Quick Strike. Like I said, it's just kind of weird, hard to pose. I mean, that's about the only pose you're gonna get with the guy. The head of the snake, it feels hollow and light, but that makes sense because you wouldn't want to have a real heavy snake head on that bendy wire because it would always be flopping down. So anyway, there we have Quick Strike in robot mode. Let's go ahead and get him transformed into beast mode. In beast mode, Quick Strike has loads of personality. I love the way the beast mode looks. Now we've already seen everything on here except for this fantastic head sculpt. I love the metallic there on the forehead and the little spot right there. Great sculpted details throughout the beady eyes. You got the mandibles. Got one, two, three sets of mandibles. Or no, two sets of mandibles. You got two sets of fangs. You got the long fangs and the little shorter fangs right there. If I can zoom in, <laughs> he looks so good. And I love the fact the head is articulated. Like I said, he has lots of personality. You could have him straight down like that. You could bring the head up. He can kind of look around. He can give you the huh? look, which was kind of quick strike anyway. What in tarnation? I love that. I mean, that just looks so cool. You got the bendy snake tail back here that still, eh, at least it works. I mean, it holds the form in scorpion mode good. The feet, which are now the claws, work really good. You can move those around. You can pinch with them. The bendy legs, see right here, the way the arms hit. I mean, it works. I mean, it is what it is, but I don't mind. A lot of people complained about the bendy legs. It doesn't bother me one bit. A lot of folks say, well, the legs can't support the weight of the scorpion, but to be honest, that's how he looked in the show. He didn't, he wasn't up high. He crawled along the ground, and I think this is just dead on. I love the scorpion mode, but the only complaint I have with it, the shoulder pad section, they're designed as gap fillers, and they're okay, they're not great. You can see the hinges there, and of course he has visible robot head syndrome underneath. But still, all in all, this is a fantastic looking Fusor, a fantastic looking Quick Strike. And real quick, let me bring in 
the original Quick Strike for some comparisons. So there you have the two together. Like I said, I don't understand why they couldn't give this Quick Strike the segmented ball joint tail like the original. Though, I don't know, I just, I don't get it. It was the designer choice. Oh well, they did what they did. So there you go. Like, and see how the legs come up. I mean, he doesn't support himself. And I think it looks really good. The colors are spot on. And but I love the metallic on this guy. He looks so good. So there you go, guys. There is Quick Strike in his beast mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Trans Art Vice Poison Quick Strike with the original Beast Wars Quick Strike, Trans Art Metal Spider, aka Tarantulas, and Kingdom Inferno. The Trans Art Vice Poison Quick Strike is a great homage to the Beast Wars Quick Strike figure. If you're a Beast Wars fan and a fan of Quick Strike, and I don't know many people who aren't, this is an awesome figure to own. He does have some weird design choices with the bendy arm snake tail thing. I don't understand why they didn't just do ball joints like the original figure, but I guess they had their reason. Like I said, it doesn't bother me too bad because I'm not going to be playing with this figure. He's going to be on display. So aside from that, he is a beautiful looking figure in both robot and beast mode and comes highly recommended. And I'm going to put a link where you can get yourself a TransArt Quick Strike from Shozy Store in the description of this video. And if you don't mind, make sure and type in Patriot at the top to support your favorite YouTuber. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!